looking for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jack Della Malina! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Gilbert Durinho Burns! You ready to fight? Ready? Good. All right, early round action here. How will Gilbert Durinho Burns choose to proceed? At times in certain matchups, he's had these verbal guarantees like no takedowns, right? Even if that's the path of least resistance. This is a fighter's fighter, absolutely loves to strike. Even though, of course, he's one of the more world-class Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners on this roster top to bottom. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Leg kick. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Hook to the headland, a flush there by Burke. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Straight right hand on the counter is good. All right, here we go. Early round action featuring the well-rounded Gilbert Durinho Burns. He opens with a leg kick. And that's one of the... Oh! oh, hook to the head by Burns. Oh, there. Down now, so a nice level change after he had gotten stunned on the feet. Nice positional control here. Postures up now and lands the vicious head strike. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him up and finish his fight. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Lands with the ground and pound. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Heavy eye time. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, the ground and pound is there. <laughs> All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this in the off. No, I, I can't get those legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground, and I like to grind. That's what I'm known for. But this guy has that dexterity. He has that ability to throw up the rubber guard, to be able to threaten from a position where his opponent was trying to find safety. There are many, many attacks here. Let's see which one he chooses to go after. Minute and a half to go in our opening round. Right into side control. Burns trying to lock up on a submission now. That's in pretty deep. The arm triangle's getting very close. What he's got to do now is get to the opposite side of the body. He's got to get his body on the side of the lock and get the finish. He's bridging. Oh, no way he got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm triangle. Unbelievable. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. 
might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh, setting up another submission now. Oh, that's very deep now. Oh, so how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You gotta make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Five minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily right, a Robbie Lawler lip round. opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Risk control. Risk control. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, he's got the hooks in DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Change of the position. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Burns. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Burns right back to the full mount here. Trying to set up a choke here. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, my goodness. He's getting it tight. Oh, it's oh. oh. Gilbert Dorino Burns. Holy smokes. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 59 seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, Gilbert Dorino Burns. All right, a clean performance tonight for the former Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion, Gilbert Dorino Burns, who gets it done by submission. It's a family affair for the Burns. And for Gilbert Burns to go out there and get this win by...